All right, uh, here's my latest uh, item from Banggood. Uh, let's see here, let's, let's measure it. It's a, um, uh, a power supply, a little knob, and has a, 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 has a display. So it is about 80, 80 by 40 millimeters um, and about 40 millimeters deep. Now it has a little fan on the back, um, which is a temperature control fan. It doesn't turn on until it needs to be, which is really nice. Um, let's see, it also claims to be buck boost. So I guess that's why there's two, uh, two inductors, one to take the incoming and boost it up some high voltage and then some take it down to whatever you need it set to. So that's why I was really, really interested. I thought that I would, um, Oh, I can't find the uh, can't find the battery, but you know this um, uh, breadboard that I built here with a uh, uh, a battery solution. I thought, oh, hey, I could build a whole bunch of um, you know projects with with battery power, and I thought, well, it'd be really nice to have a portable power supply, and that's a pretty beefy battery. What if this could do everything? If it can boost it that I can use any old voltage battery and then I can get some type of voltage output. Now I think this thing claims to be six to 36 volts. So I don't know what that exactly means. I think that's the incoming voltage. Um, so you can power it somewhere between six and 36, but I don't remember what the output voltage is. Um, so we'll have to turn it on and figure that out. Um, I've got some extra things here because I've been testing it. Um, I have a, a load resistor and I put some wires on so I could hook it up, but it's got um, uh, voltage in and voltage out plus minus and Yeah, so let's uh, let's turn it on so you can so you can see this thing. It's got a it's got a really nice little display on it All right, I've just uh, I've just turned it on. So uh, this is what you get volts amps and watts and There is a little insignia here. That's constant voltage that'll turn to constant current depending on what mode it's in and then off and there's a little on off button here. You push it and it goes on and it says it's in constant voltage mode, green light. And um, this is the voltage being read out and then the set voltage is here at the bottom. So it's set to three volts and a, a compliance of 0.3 amps. So let's hook up a, uh, let's hook up a meter so we can monitor this thing. Well, it bonders itself, so I guess we don't even need to do that. So I'm, I'm inputting 11 volts, which, it would, which would be my battery. So let's see what kind of voltage we can get out. Um, so certainly we, uh, we can get three volts out, uh, three point, yeah, three, three zero. And um, to set the voltage, you press the button. So if you go to the bang good side, oh, let me, let me give you the part number for this thing. Um, it is an XYS. 3580. I paid $17 for it. And um, to get, and on the Banggood site, there's a whole bunch of information on this thing. So I'm not going to go through all of the different uh, menus and everything. Banggood's got a good write up on that. So you click it, and then it highlights the set. You click it again, and you're highlighting a digit. So you got to click over to the three. And so let's see, I have it set to 11 volts. So let's see if I can output, uh, let's see if I can output 19 volts. Yeah, it's outputting 19 volts. So that's great. I could use this thing battery powered and um, get uh, higher voltages. Let's see how far we can go. Uh, 19, 36, 36 and a half. Wow. So yeah, this is great. So this would be a cool little bench top supply. Um, put it in a nice little box, have a battery in it. Now, one of the things I don't like about it is every time you set a voltage, it times out. And so if I push the button now, it's not gonna do, or twiddle the knob now, it's not gonna do what I think it's gonna do, which is the set button. I wish it would be like a regular power supply. You could put it in some mode and then just turn it. Maybe there's a way to do that, but I don't, I don't see it. When you do turn, when you're in the menu mode, which is where it's at now, uh, when you click it to the right, it, it, it see, see that little dots in that red bar at the top? 
when you're over here it's on the left one if you go over one it's it's the next one over now it's showing you amp hours and watt hours so i guess this is for battery applications click it over again and it gives you a graph so you can actually graph uh, what's going on so you can look at um, voltage and current the uh, currents in blue and the voltage is in uh, in yellow so that's that's a cool feature uh, I don't know what these things are, some kind of menu stuff. And you, I guess you can actually change the color <laughs> of things too, or make it do different things. I don't know. There's, it's very little confusing little instrument, but I'm mostly interested in its capability. So, um, yeah, this is great. So 36, it's actually measuring the temperature, I guess, of the heat sink as well, 29.8 degrees C. So if we start to draw some current, I have a, a load here. This is a 50 ohm, a 50 ohm load. So let's put that on there. And we're suddenly up at 0.3 amps, 4.73 watts. I would imagine the temperature is going to start going up. Yeah, 30 C. Oh, yeah, now we're, we're drooping way down to 16 volts. So uh, that's the problem with using a low input voltage is you can't always recover because of the percent um, efficiencies of the boost in the buck, you're not going to get all of the current that you put in. But let's put it onto something lower here. Um, let's see. Let's go back here. Let's, we're putting in 11 volts. Let's output 5 volts. Okay, there we are, outputting 5 volts, and we'll put the load back on. Okay, now so it's operating correctly now. Yeah, it looks good. Let's look at that, um, let's look at that graph. So we're coming along here at 5 volts, we'll put the load on it, and you can see that load moved up. Oh, it auto-scales too, that's kind of annoying. Um, anyway, um, now I take the load off, it dropped back down the load back on, drop it, oh, it's auto-scaling too. That's quite annoying. That's quite annoying. Oh, well. <laughs> Good idea, bad execution. Um, oh, I was going to take a look at the uh, temperature rise here. Oh, that's only half a watt. It's going to take a while. So let's go up to 10 volts. So we'll go up to 10 volts and... Now we have, have one watt of, oh, two watts, because it's a 50 ohm. So two watts of power. And the temperature of the heat sink is 30.8, 30.9, Yeah, it is going up. So I'm not sure what voltage, or what voltage to a temperature the uh, little fan will turn on, but I do like that. I do like that feature. When I designed my um, electronic load, I originally had a fan in it and it was quite annoying. So I put in a thermal switch so that it only turns on at 40 C or something like that. Otherwise it's nice and quiet. 31.4. Oh, ow, ow, ow. the resistor's hot. <laughs> I put my finger on it. Oh, well, anyway, you get the idea. Um, so I'm going to do some tests. I'll bring out some other instruments and uh, hook things up, and and we'll see what kind of uh, what kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, let's test out its its uh, current measurement capability. We have a 50 ohm resistor, so five volts, 50 ohms. We should get 0.1 amps, and 0.096. All right, let's go. Let's turn that off. Let's go to 10. All right, so 10, we should have 0 0.2, 0 0.193. All right, let's try one volt. Mm, 
And how about five? Yeah. I guess it does the math right. Five times 0 0.1 should give you 0.5 watts. All right, so I've got all the instruments in the frame now, and I want to show you um, uh, an issue I believe that the, uh, the power supply has. And each of these instruments gives you a different, um, a different way of looking at it. And so let's, let's take a look at the issue here. Let me, uh, let me step in front of the camera here. All right, let me get on this side so I can push the button. All right, so I'm gonna push the button and it's set to five volts, 0.3 amps. And um, we have a 50 ohm resistor, so we shouldn't get more than 0.1 amps. So it won't go into current compliance, it'll stay in voltage compliance, all right? So uh, the first thing I wanna watch, have you watch is the, uh, is the analog meter. Okay, and we have it set to five volts. So five volts is in the center here, right? So let's go. So it goes up and then it goes down. So that's, that's kind of strange, all right? So we'll turn that off. All right, so now I want you to look at the, the oscilloscope. We'll do the same thing. It goes up and then it goes up a little bit more and then it goes down, all right? So that's kind of odd and then uh, we'll focus in on the, uh, the DC meter. So it comes on and you're not really sure what happened, right? It ended up at five, but it, the meter went over 15. It did weird things. It was auto ranging. It did all kinds of weird things. So really for this particular measurement, we're, we're mostly interested in these two instruments. Now for accuracy, this says 4.99, this says 4.99. So as far as accuracy is concerned, these two are really good. So this instrument is best. This is gonna be a little bit off because you calibrated it on a one volt scale, but we're using it on a 10 volt scale. So we're relying on the internal divider to be accurate and it's not, it's a little bit low. So it's not reading exactly five volts. And then voltage on the um, oscilloscope is kind of problematic. You can turn things on and measure things, but it is kind of problematic on the oscilloscope. So uh, let's turn this back off. All right. So the other thing we want to take a look at is how accurate the current reading is. And we don't need any of these instruments for that. Uh, well, we do. Uh, we should use this instrument to make sure that the voltage is correct. But we know 50 ohms is 50 ohms, so we'll turn it on and wait for it to settle. And it was high, now it's low. Okay, so now it's exactly five volts, 4.99. And now we can read the current off, which is 0, uh, 095. It should be 0.1. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change, oops, let me turn that off. Uh, let's change it to, uh, let's change it to nine volts. We'll go to nine volts. Okay. I can watch all the meters. So here goes nine volts. Up, up some more, down. Uh, this was off scale, uh, but we were on scale here. Now we're at uh, 8.97, a little bit low. All right. And then let's Go back to five, click, 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 click. You can see that it's taking quite a while for it to actually catch up on the clicks, right? So watch this meter and I will set it for seven volts and ready? One, oh, oh, it did it automatically. One, two, all right, so I'm at five, click, click takes a long time for this thing to figure out it should be doing something. Click, click, click. And click. So it, it's very laggy in response to when you set it to when it actually happens. And it's also laggy in getting to where it needs to go. It takes a while for it to go where it needs to go. So let's go to, and then it defaults to turn off. You have to enable it again, which is a pain. 
So I'm going to set it for one volt this time. So that's click, 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 click. I'll go back to five. I went to six. <laughs> Oops. Five. So, yeah, it's a bit funny. And if you want it to go into steps, step, 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 step. You can watch the steps over here. Step. Yeah, so anyway, it's it's quite slow. Quite, quite slow. And off. It's pretty quick at off. And one, two, three, on. Yeah, a little bit of a lag, I think. And then it does that weird hunting thing. So I'm not crazy about that. Now, if we go to its own, let me turn this off. If we go to its own graphing function, let's go on. And it just says everything's perfect. Nothing happened. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of climbing. Oh, you can watch it. It's kind of climbing. Yeah, so this is kind of funny too. I, I know you can't see that it's way too small, but it, it climbed a little bit. All right, so now I have it set up with no load at all. So there's no load on the, uh, on the machine. Let me turn it on to five volts. And it does its funny little thing, okay. Now let me, let me change it to uh, three volts. Click, click. And you can see that the uh, slew rate is very strange. Okay, so click, click. Oh, shoot. I have to push the button here to get back to volts. Click, click. So I did a double click. So going in the up direction is okay. Going in the, oops, god darn it. I wish it would stay on the volts. Uh, it's very frustrating. All right. Click, click. Click once, click twice, click down once, click down. You can see that it does really weird things. Oh, yep, and then it times out, so now you're doing something else, so you can't just turn the knob. So anyway, I think this thing's fail, fail, fail. <laughs> well, final impressions. Um, I like its size. I like the display a lot. Uh, nice use of those little uh, OLED displays. I don't like the menus. Uh, I don't like the operation. It does do what you need it to do, though. It, it is buck boost, so whatever voltage you put in, you get the full range on the output. You know, you're going to sacrifice watts, but, but it'll do that great. Um, so I think the way that you need to think of this thing is it's set and forget. If you, if you want to set and forget power supply, it's like you're working on a circuit and you say, I need 12 volts. You set it up for 12 volts, turn it on, you're going to get 12 volts out. But don't expect it to be a good supply where you can twiddle the knob and, and, and play with voltages while it's in the circuit. It's just, it's just not going to do that. But as a little set and forget power supply, maybe battery powered. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. So $17 isn't too bad. You know, it's, it's a little bit on the high side for, for Chinese stuff, but it's okay. I think the quality is good. So, uh, yeah, I'd recommend it as a set and forget power supply. I do like the um, temperature control fan. That's a, that's a nice feature. Um, it's very simple. It's, you know, set it once and then just turn it on and off, on and off. So if, if that's all you need to do is turn it on or turn it off at some particular setting, then it's going to do the job good.